hello welcome back or to my channel my name is Leah Ari, and in this video i'll be pre styling a wig for my um client i'm installing her wig on saturday and she wants crimps so i'll be showing how to do crimps as well okay the first thing that i'm going to do is align the wig correctly on the canvas head so i can make the middle part as accurate and straight as possible and then i'm gonna go through and um Use the hot comb and wax stick to flatten out and make the wig as flat as possible. I think from now I'm going to start pre-styling the wig on the canvas head instead of styling on my client after I install it. Because one, it will save me time during the whole installation process. Because all I need to do is braid down the hair, glue the wig on, do the baby hairs, and maybe touch up the wig. And two, I can take my time. I don't have to rush. And I can make the... um style look actually nice so yeah i think i might be doing a little series on that on my channel with me um styling the wigs and stuff if i know the person then i'll be able to record me putting the wig on them after i style it but if not then i only show the wig and then the results will be on my hair page at hair by lee I'm using is the iron three barrel or triple barrel um crimper i'm going to leave in the link in the bio and i'm using the highest setting so the first thing i do is spray with the heat protectant i use turn up the heat, heat protectant and then i spray it with um sebastian sharper plus holding spray and then i start crimping so when i crimp um make sure you comb out the hair real good and then you start at the top and i leave the crimper on there for between 10 to 30 seconds it depends how fast or how long i want to hold the crimper and then after that time is up i just go down the hair and then i crimp it again like press it down and then i hold it up like as you see that i'm doing i like put the crimper up so the previous section that i crimped is like bent a little bit as you can see 
and then I do that all the way down to the end. And when I'm done, I spray it with got to be holding spray and the um, Sebastian Sharper spray to make sure that the crimps stay in and last. Okay, so the first crimp that I did, I did not use enough um, holding spray before I crimped it. So the crimps were not as good. I'm about to show you the difference in a second. See, as you can see, the crimps are like kind of weak and it's not as um, firm. So I had to go back and recrimp that. So make sure you're putting enough spray before and after so the crimps can really show out and stay. parting out the baby hairs um i'm not going to cut them but i'm just going to part out and curl them just in case my client does not want baby hairs i can easily push them back into place and then after that i'm going to use um zigzag scissors 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 to cut the lace i saw this i saw multiple people using zigzag scissors and i want to try it myself it's supposed to make the um, wig melt in better so if i like it then you'll see me using the zigzag scissors more often if i don't like it then you're never going to see it again <laughs>
Okay, for me, it's easier to curl the baby hairs up at the top of the hairline. And then at the bottom, I curl the baby hairs going downwards. So the top is, I curl it away from the face and the bottom, I curl it towards the face, if that makes sense. This is the end of the video. This is how the wig looks after um, when I put it on my client's head. I'm going to spray it with some um, the turn up the heat spray to um, loosen some of it because it's kind of crunchy right now. And yeah, so I already cut the lace and the wig's already styled. So all I have to do is glue the wig on and it should be good. To see what it, um, the final results are, go on my hair page and it should be there in two days on Saturday. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on my socials and bye.